do something that will look impressive in reverse. The Taskmaster will see whatever act you perform played backwards. You must therefore do something backwards that will look impressive when the footage is played in reverse. If I jump off a cliff, I'll jump onto the top of the cliff. Is that what you're thinking? No. <laughs> so I'm going to do something backwards. I've got an idea, and it involves water. Who's next? Uh, Frank. Frank next. It's called Push Up and Away. Just a simple story of one man's strength. <laughs> I thought, seeing it now, it's quite poor. <laughs> <laughs> when I'd only seen that, when I'd only seen me doing it, I thought, well, there's no way anyone will get anywhere near this. <laughs> and now I've watched it, I'm just embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jesus, Frank, come on, mate. You're doing, you're doing all right. What, with this and the toothpaste? <laughs> This is the worst night of my life. <laughs> you mean the minty tipex, right? Yeah, the minty tipex pie. <laughs> Using only the items currently on this table, get this egg as high as possible. Highest wins. The egg must not break. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. So I've got colouring pens. Well, why would I use pens? A measuring tape, a scissors. OK. I've just got paper and that's it. Sure, you got everything? <laughs> Get this egg as high as possible. It doesn't have to be at that height for very long. I'm just going to build a crash mat of paper. Oh, hold on. What if I wrap the egg several times? in this paper, giving it a bit of protection, and then throw it really high. I, I can't completely judge the trajectories. I'll try and go straight up, straight down. How long have I got left for it? 9.41. Five and a half minutes. OK, so, yeah, the secret, I think, is that when you catch it, you go down with it so it doesn't crack. One minute, Josh. One minute. Ready? I'm really nervous. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're all thinking the same thing as me. I'm amazed I give a <laughs> but <laughs> it genuinely is quite tense, isn't it? Yeah, so at this point, Josh's egg got to 6 metres uh, 80. Frank's got to 8 metres. Frank is high. So Frank is potentially going to clean up here. Should we see if the egg's broke? OK. Ready? No! Oh, it's fine! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind if I'm all right. How did that not break? Um, didn't work out. I was so confident. I couldn't see anything going wrong. Sadder, the image of you losing your eggy friend or you falling over. <laughs> like I said, years of playing cricket have stood me in good stead. <laughs> Hi, guys.
Fill an egg cup with as many tears as possible. You have 20 minutes. Fill an egg... <laughs> dear. Oh, well. Fill an egg cup with as many tears as possible. Uh, it doesn't have to be my tears, does it? Can I use the entire team? So I can get other people as well. OK. Hello? Hello, can, can I borrow you for uh, 20 minutes maximum? If you can all come in here, that'd be great. I need you to manipulate them a little bit. But hold it quite close to your eyes, if you can. See, I think you need to. Mm. Need, mm. need something, doesn't it? Maybe I could sing uh, Old Shep. Are you dog lovers? When I was a boy, an old Shep was a pup. Over hills oh, and meadows we'd stray. Just a boy and his dog. We were both full of fun. We grew up together that way. Frank? Be oh, brilliant. That's the first tear so far. Was it, was it the only one? Was it old Shep? Listen to this bit. He came <laughs> to my side and he looked up at me and he laid his old head on my knee. I stroked the best friend <laughs> that a man ever had. And I cried so I still see, could see. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, no! It's a weird thing to hold the tears of four or five different men in your hand. <laughs> How are you feeling about that um, chilli sauce decision, though? <laughs> It's not my finest hour. Uh, <laughs> I wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> Lateral thinking. How are you? Good, thanks. Make this Swedish person blush. <laughs> Make this Swedish person... <laughs> I've already got the accent. Make this Swedish person blush as deeply... Make this Swedish person blush as deeply as possible. Are you Swedish? Yeah. I love Swedes. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> oh my God, that's impossible. Um... Hello. <clears throat> Will you do whatever I ask you to do? Probably not. Probably not? No. What kind of things make you blush, would you say? Don't know. What about somebody speaks to you really close up like that? Don't you find that a bit strange? Your ears are completely devoid of hair. <laughs> well, you have a physical contact. Oh, that's yourself. fine. Yeah. Don't make a word. Fred, I'm worried that I'm getting a bit of a hot belly. What do you... what do you think? Fine. Is there a reason you're not making eye contact with me? Not really, no. I couldn't make eye contact with oh, well, you. Yeah, we're no. getting on, aren't we? We're really getting on. I have a surprisingly bulbous vein on my private parts. But it almost exactly resembles the point where the A40 joins the A315. <laughs> I once got out in a park to explain to a lady directions, and um, it led to a court case. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Yep. I mean, I've got no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm either going to make him blush or I'm going to sleep with him. I don't know which one of the it's going to be. You know what I'm talking about, though, don't you? <sighs> Fred, I think, I think you might have beaten me. I've got 30 seconds to embarrass you. You ready for the nuzzle? Nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. Come on, Freddy. Was <laughs> <laughs> anyone else surprised Frank Skinner's got the belly of a 15 year old boy? <laughs> Powerful homoeroticism. I really enjoyed it. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs>